six Matrix, Malibu, Mirage, and Meridian aircraft. These are, as you may know, six seat piston and turbine aircraft uh, that uh, are really the uh, the cat's meow. The, this is the the pinnacle of personal flying. Uh, it just doesn't get any better than this. Uh, you couldn't do the mission of the PA-46 uh, unless you had twice the money with another airplane. So if you, you, your Bonanza, your Cirrus, or your Saratoga's not getting her done, why consider the PA-46. It's uh, really pretty easy to fly. And today I want to talk about this this great um, little add-on device here, the, the Garmin G500. Now the Garmin makes a G600 series as well. And uh, for this class aircraft and the speeds that it flies, uh, we've, we're uh, all certified uh, for the G500 here. And with uh, all the options available uh, in the 500, it will perform uh, the same tasks as the 600 for about $5,000 less money. So the G500 is what you want if you have an airplane of this class. Uh, here, five, two, three, Tango, Victor, can uh, uh, th that's the, the good news. The bad news is you have to cut the panel. You, you know, uh, this will be a major change. You have to uh, redo the panel. It's not inexpensive. Uh, check with your avionics shop, and uh, if they've done it before, they'll they'll know what what the price is. Uh, uh, there are other options as well. Aspen makes a fine unit. Number three, Tango Victor. Uh, it's less money. They, uh, they uh, and then, of course, the Ki-256 King uh, uh, instrument is still available. There are plenty of used ones on the market. And if your budget is tight, that may be the way to go. Uh, the Ki-256, however, is analog device. It's uh, it's uh, you know steam gauge, as it were. And uh, during a, its reign, it was the best box out there. Uh, it, it, it since it's mechanical, it, it's likely to not last as long as a glass panel. And if, if that's your wish, and you want the functionality of a full glass panel, uh, either Aspen or G500 is clearly the way to go. Now, just a few things about it. Uh, you'll notice a series of buttons down here on the side. Never these four, 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 Echo Alpha, uh, uh, these buttons change the function, so we can we can push heading, and we now with this knob here can select the heading, uh, or we can, uh, if we've selected heading, we can uh, recenter the heading bug by pushing the knob when the heading uh, annunciator is lit, like so. Course, altitude, VS. These two buttons, Altitude VS, aren't used on this device because we have the uh, 55X autopilot in here. Delta uh, moving down across the bottom here, we have some soft keys. They're called soft keys because the functions change depend on, uh, on what the status is. So CDI changes uh, the source for the needle, the course needle. There, I've changed it to localizer. Of course, that's not correct, so the airplane's turning. So we'll put it back in GPS. And we can switch from GPS 1 to GPS 2. And you can see the differences there. But uh, these two GPSs are cross-feeding, uh, correction, cross-filling to one another. And so they're producing the same result. PFD, uh, simple, that gives us uh, some options here. We can put on additional bearing pointers and assign them to uh, NAV1 or NAV2 or GPS2. Uh, so there's some functionality there. Synthetic vision brings up the options for uh, 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 terrain, uh, the horizon, and the uh, heading information up here, <coughs> and the airport signs, which we don't have any there. But <coughs> we have here a flight path marker. We have uh, uh, guide bars here, the magenta uh, director bars, flight director ba bars, or as they're known, uh, or as they're called, D bars. Delta, Delta. Uh, back now. Thank you. And then the delta, which the yellow uh, cat's uh, whiskers are actually the airplane. So when the two are matched, the airplane is going where you've commanded it with the autopilot and the altitude pre-select. The green uh, circle with the three uh, lines on it there is called a flight path marker, and that's where the airplane's actually going. So if I perturb the autopilot a little bit, uh, you can see that it moves off the horizon. Horizon is the white line. And we're basically eastbound, as you can see from the 090 in the background there. Over the left, just like a six-pack, we have airspeed, we have color codes for the tape, 
We have true air speed display. We have wind speed direction. And then over also outside air temperature. Over, over here on the right, we can set in here altitude um, with the, this button here. Uh, this is really not, uh, other than a memory item, uh, is not used on this airplane because we set that in up here in the altitude pre-select of the autopilot. Uh, we have, of course, altitude, both November digital four, eight, six, and tape four, form. Roger, squawk, we four, have six, vertical six, speed, six, bug, four, four, six, and six, we have four, a barometer, all which is settable here on the left-hand side of this uh, beautiful uh, Garmin G500 display. Over on the right side, we have a map. Um, this is just November about four, eight, six, Romeo, infinitely Kilo, Roger, Roger, configurable Roger, Roger, um, here with traffic, topo, Columbia, terrain. Three, zero, uh, zero, we three, just put on everything we want. We can put the legends on there or not. Um, we can declutter or clutter, and if you're familiar with the older 400, 500 series boxes, you know how that works. Basically, we can take information away so that we can focus on that what we want, so different levels of declutter. We also can set in the uh, menus, we can set the amount of data that gets displayed and at what ranges it gets displayed. I've preset this uh, with a lot of information just so you can see what all, and as we range in, it looks less cluttered because obviously things don't appear further apart. The intersections, airways, uh, jet routes, all the nav data you could uh, shake a stick at right there in front of you. That's pretty nifty. Remember 1004 Sierra changed to my frequency, 125.25. Here uh, we have a big knob which changes the drawer, so we can go to the weather page. We have three pages of weather. Uh, we can put up freezing levels, uh, satellite data, NEXRAD. It gives us, gives us a legend, the age of the data. Um, so this is, uh, November Echo Whiskey descended this is just incredible. Uh, just City incredible bit of information. Yeah. We can go to the AUX page. Here we have serial numbers for the uh, servers and boxes and other data that uh, is uh, more of use to the uh, folks at, uh, at the avionics shop. Here's the stuff that can be turned on and turned off. Uh, we have uh, all the different uh, displays here. We can set the airspeed. Uh, 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 it goes on the tape. November 4190 Whiskey Contact, Kansas City Center, 134.5 today. Uh, 34.5, so long, 90 Whiskey. Say what, 90 Whiskey, uh, let's change that frequency. Contact Kansas City, 128.35, 2835. All right, 2835, so long, 90 Whiskey. 2835. If I don't say it back to myself, I tend to forget it, and I say it that way, I, I know it sounds cavalier, but it, it's actually easier to remember that way. Yes, Senator, it's Malibu, 419 or whiskey, uh, 17,000 smooth. Malibu, 419 or whiskey, Kansas City, Toronto, Columbia, altimeter 3003. Thank you. 3003, so that's a little change, a few points. So we'll set that a couple of places. And then I'm just about finished telling you about this. So uh, we have also a flight plan page, which is a bit redundant because we have flight plan page over here on the 430 series. Um, City, but there it is. Uh, so if uh, if you, you're going to keep your airplane a while and you have the money to spend, I highly recommend you consider uh, 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 a new glass panel. These are certified in the aircraft now. And um, it completely replaces the older style instruments. Uh, I believe they'll prove to be more reliable over a longer period of time, although they are more expensive. So it's it's a choice to be made. If I can be of help to you, please contact me. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train off. Kansas City, 77 Romeo with you, Washington County.